Hello everybody and today I am here with Title Tuesday Let's have fun and let's go For whatever reason it says that I'm live but I don't see the stream going Is the stream here? Yes, the stream is here Good Good, 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 okay How is the camera? Camera is looking fine I think Let's see the sound How is the camera? Camera Okay, sound is good as well Okay, so only 516 players registered right now, but there is still almost 3 minutes left to join, so some people may join. Maybe I'm thinking we'll have 673 players this tournament, at least at the beginning. So let's see if I'll be correct. Okay, 5-3. I said 6-7-3, I think. I'm unsure, but I think so. Now let me reload here as well. So I see the stream and didn't have to worry that my stream crashed in the middle of the game if I check stream manager. Unstable. But the stream is fine, I guess. I think it's okay. Okay. 550. Yeah, we just need 123 players. And we, we are good to go. Not more, not less would be ideal. Let me also maybe... Ah, there is no break timer yet. Okay. Wanted to open it early. But I guess I can't. Hey, Karma. Okay. See you in a few minutes then. 570. Just 103 players. And we can start. No need for more players. No need for more players. Just uh, now it is 88, just 88 and we can start. But I'm afraid that we'll have 700 actually. The people are adding extremely quickly right now. People are joining way too quickly. 600, okay, let's slow down now. Show, give us the break thing, I wanna open it so I don't have to. I'll uh, waste time later, but I guess I can't. I guess I can't, unfortunately. Six, one, four, 59 players, possible, possible, but 30 seconds, it's unlikely. My new prediction is it's gonna be six, five, seven players. So I have two predictions. Hey, uh, hey Pookie. Hi, how are you doing? 674. I'm thinking 673. My second guess is 657, but we are at 630, so I think we are both wrong. Uh, but I'm closer, because I guess 673 is the first guess. <laughs> My first guess was 673, so I'm by one closer. Let's go. 638. Yeah, we are not even 650. That's not quite a little, actually. No, 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 but even with one guess, I would be closer. I would be closer with one guess, and 673 is closer to, uh, how much, 640 or whatever it is, than 674. You know, that's crazy, isn't it? Second guess would count only if it would be exactly 657 players. But if not, then the first guess would counts only. Second one is non-existent. I was thinking 95. I took that check. I guess bishop 4. Castle knight e5. I'm thinking to sack this pawn. Let him take it and go like long side castle. And try to create something. Since his queen is somewhat out of play, pieces are undeveloped well. And yeah. I'll try that. If he takes. If he doesn't take, I may as well simply short side castle. And play this position. I think he'll play bishop e6, not gonna lie. 
Yeah, he does. I mean, he may be stream sniping. Even though the stream is like 40 second delay, we don't talk about that. He's most likely stream sniping. Alright, I want to trade queens and then long side castle. Sacking this pawn. Is it worth it though? Uh, I don't know. H3. Uh, yeah, it's actually maybe pretty worth it. I want to, I want him to take and then play like h3 and open up the h file to attack the h6 pawn. It's interesting, I'm not sure if it's correct, but it's interesting. Okay, so right now I'm a two pawn, I, I'm a pawn down, but I have two bishops advantage. And I, if I get an open h file, which I'm likely to get, I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with my position. Since h6 is hanging, okay, he plays h5, so that he doesn't hang, but I can play either g4, play rook h1 and take, which I think I'm actually gonna do. Rook h1, he can go once a castle, take, take bishop b3, then I have bishop f3, and I think I'm pretty good. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's okay. Because g4, h1, I really cannot move my dark sword bishop since e5 will fall. So I think rook d h1 is a better option. Could have played bishop f3 as well. Maybe it was better since. Uh, I want to take with my bishop, but then he also had some h4 stuff, so I don't know. Okay, do I play bishop c2 or bishop f3? Bishop f3... I mean, it's good, but it may be scary if he... Uh, if, if, I don't, if I don't remove his bishop from b3, I'll just have a mate threat always hanging in the air, pretty much, on d1. So I'm not so sure if I take or not. Two bishops advantage is nice. I might simply play bishop d2 now. And see what he does to then play some move. Because e5 isn't hanging because of my rook. And I'll, I still keep bishop c2 in mind. Because if I play bishop f3, I can trade bishops with bishop d1. So I think this the move I played is quite okay. He goes here. Let's go bishop f5. I mean, I could take, but I don't know, I don't really like it. Uh, bishop h3. Don't want to give away a pawn, and I want to go like rook h7. Okay, maybe g3 here. I can also move my bishop, but I blinded bishop f3 in 85, actually, unfortunately. Yeah, f3 would be better instead of g3. Okay, I didn't play that. He prevents uh, rook h7. Bishop e4. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go here. Yeah, this is a move I don't want to play since my rook is trapped, but I should be able to play something like this and I move my rook on the h file. If knight e7 I'm planning to go here, knight e5, rook h3 protecting the opponent, the bishop cannot move. So he goes here, oh knight b3 is a threat, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, then I'm gonna go f5, unfortunately. Oh well. Here. This. Rook h7 or rook h5? Rook h5 perhaps is better. It's gonna be a bit difficult to win, but I'll try my best. Okay, I actually like that. F7 pawn is much better than the g3 pawn since now I got a somewhat passed pawn. Only
that one. Seaweed. Yes, 95. No, I played Kinney 5. Oh no, I flagged. I played Kinney 5, but it didn't reach the server. Mm. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I played Kinney 5, but I lagged and it didn't reach the server. I'm actually losing after Kinney 5. Mm. Unlucky. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, okay, 94 for both of us. Okay, Kine 5 would actually be the losing move. But it's difficult to find this line in time trouble. He probably would play 96 and it would be a draw. <laughs> relaxation. Yeah, not much relaxation here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, or whatever, I don't know. Unlucky, though. Unlucky. But, I mean, okay, Kin F5 was a losing move. Hey, Crash Dummy, thanks for 15 months, dear one. So, Kin F5 was a losing move, but he still has to win it. He has to find Rook 8, he has to find C6, and he has to find 93. Which, with two seconds, is somewhat difficult to find. Yeah, I overpushed a bit. I should have set it with a draw earlier. As I'm just playing King B3, his knight can't do anything, so C5 taken, this would be a draw. Okay, unlucky, but okay, it happens. Uh, yeah, 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 but yeah, I didn't have any, any winning position, I thought I was better, because of two bishops, but I, I, I wasn't, yeah, I was streaming on the chat before as well, It should be a win for black, uh, for white, but uh, I mean, the last game should have been a draw. So. <laughs> yeah, but I honestly think after king f5 he wouldn't find with two seconds rook eight c6, you know, because it's one check. I mean, sure checks are yeah, but with two seconds you have to move your rook to a8 and find c6. So most likely I think what we, he would have done is play knight c6 94. We would have settled for a draw, but I mean, okay, you, you never know. I played the losing move, but. Yeah. It didn't reach a server. So, uh, I lost the game with 94 accuracy. If I would have played Kid A5, then my accuracy would be lower. But since I flagged there, my accuracy didn't get ruined. <laughs> so I still have a uh, pretty good uh, accuracy, you know? 94 for a loss. And you got 94. So we both got good accuracy, chat. Ah, this is the only game I did. I Okay, I'm gonna turn an emote only as well. How are you doing, Crash Dummy? Sorry that I asked you that when I turn on emote only. I, I know that you can't answer, but yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay! But you know, you lose some, you, you lose some, you win some. You win some, you lose some, because once I'll get lucky and my opener will make a move, but it won't make a move because it's a lack of something, so yeah, it's fine. Maybe Cosio. Maybe Cosio. Ah, nobody's playing Cosio against me at this point. Everybody, most people go go for Italian. <laughs> mm. Is Italian really more popular than uh, Ray Lopez? No, I think Ray Lopez is more popular, but I mean Italian is more calm, and probably people uh, like more calm stuff, especially when they're trying to play uh, against stronger opponent. They don't want to go for any crazy lines because yeah, they. I, I also, for example, against some GMs, instead of going for some Nidor 30 long, 30 move long theory, I go for some D4, some Slav stuff, you know. Okay. Ah, 
I don't know, bishop g4 maybe. I think it should be fine. It shouldn't hurt, hopefully. And then castle next move. Yeah, he has to take gf and I'll castle. I mean, actually, castling here maybe a bit scary. It's rook g1 and stuff. Okay, it's fine for now. Concerning is scary after bishop b2. Should be careful to not trap my own queen. <laughs> Did I just get a draw already? How do I avoid draw? Okay, he played knight b5, fortunately. Yeah, I just couldn't see a way how to avoid draw after bishop b2. He wants to play rook g7 and queen h3, bishop f1 is to draw. But good that he doesn't want to play for a draw. And he tries to win. Uh, so I'll go knight of 6 and trade the queens, hopefully, because my queen on h5 is quite oddly placed. Okay, that looks scary. <laughs> but does it actually work? I mean, sure, I'll go for it. I'm not sure if it works, because the bishop on e3 hangs. It's ambitious. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll be happy. If it does work, I'll be sad because I'll most likely lose. Because my queen will most likely be trapped. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, now. Now, now, now. What do I play? I'm thinking about rook a e8 or something. Um, yeah, I guess so. And then rook e7 can be an idea. And the good thing is that he doesn't have bishop f1 as a threat. So we don't need to hurry and do anything crazy. Okay, bishop b6 actually is a good move. Uh, my, my bishop won't be hanging and the pawn on c7 isn't hanging anymore. And I might want to play knight b4 and c6 or something like that. Okay, once to play rook g3. Some ideas, some concerning ideas perhaps. Ah, uh, but okay, but okay, but okay. Knight b4, bishop b7. Do I get anything there? Don't think so, unfortunately. Maybe I should simply play queen h4 and return with my queen. And if he goes g5, I take. Thank you for the follow, Lorgan. 29 months at tier 1. I appreciate it. How are you doing? How are you? Like before? Should be 7 or b8? It looks scary, actually. But my queen will be trapped. Maybe I should have done it one move earlier, since if he played rook g3 of queen h4, then he has to waste time on uh, g5. But okay, so does that work? Maybe for rook b8. Maybe for rook b8, does that work? I don't know. I think it does. Rook b8 is I get rid of this pressure. I'll go for it, whatever. It's scary, but if I get rid of this b light square bishop, I can put my queen on h5 and like it will never get trapped. Hopefully. Unless I try something like this, but this will be a lot of time wasted. And I also will make moves, so... Yeah. Okay, here I must take... Most likely g takes h. Here, actually... Actually, I might change plans. Bishop b7, I might play rook g8. Try to get rid of this rook because some rook g4 ideas are quite annoying. And rook g4 now queen of six, I suppose. Mm, queen e7, huh? Queen e7, bishop e7, c6. That looks pretty nice. Because if queen of six, you would get e5. Uh, but bishop b7 c6 f5 can be annoying. Bim episode e6 is a month at tier 1. Thank you so much. And we got a hype train. Thank you, thank you guys. But I will be more active after this game. After bishop b7, maybe an important move is f5. But then he gets rook g6. So for whom is it important? 
95, bishop h6, rook g8. Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's go for it. Yeah, but here I take queen e5. Should be a win. Yeah. Thank you, Morgan, for two years and five months at tier one. And BMAP Snorty, that is five years and seven months at tier one. Thank you so much. Hey, Karma. It's a quite fun game. I mean, I, I, I blundered repetition, which he didn't go for, fortunately. Then he gave away an exchange. It was a little scary, but uh, I mean, a win is a win. 78, actually. Okay, that's a terrible game. <laughs> Okay, so actually play bishop is... Ah, yeah, what am I talking about? What am I thinking about? This is... Nee, 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 nee. Uh, this... And Pookie, 18 months at year one, thank you so much. That's a year and a half at year one, thank you. Okay, so this is actually good for me. Since I go 9g4, and if bishop is 3, I take, and I'm good. Uh, because he has double pawns, so I have two bishops advantage. I mean, I'm not bad or anything, but he has to make move his bishop. I go here. If knight e3, I may get some rook d2 or rook d3 stuff, and I'm fine. Uh, so bishop e7 would be better. I took. I got a worse position. Yeah, he got a very scary g file. And be messed give that gives a to play strong, play good. Thank you. That's 100 and you give it up for be messed Did the stream die? Oh no. Did the stream die? Watch, that's it. Did the stream die? Ah, oh, no, just like, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, and then here I was super concerned because he could have played bishop e2 instead of knight b5. Okay, yeah, bishop e2. I thought he has to, for he had, can force a draw, but he's actually plus 3 here. Because, ah, yeah, engine like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and my queen is terribly placed. I thought he can at least force a draw with bishop f1 and then bishop e2. But Stockfish says he can go like knight d5. Or f5, and it would even crush me. Yeah, analysis probably. Yeah, yeah. But fortunately for me, he played 9b5, gave away an exchange. I stabilized somewhat. 9b4 is actually better. Sheesh. Wow, that's a nasty line. So if he goes 9a7, I take, right? And if he takes, I take e3, so I'm winning. And if he goes bishop b7, I go rook b8, knight a7, I take. He has to go here, and then I take, and I'm winning. And if he goes d5, I can go knight d5 and rook e8. And if rook e1, rook e7. Yeah, that was a very forced win, which is quite difficult to find. Then I was had played a little bit shaky chess. A5, knight d5, but then yeah, rook g8, and then fortunately for me, he has nothing. Fortunately, this line doesn't work since I get queen e4 mate. Uh, so yeah, he played queen g2, and then I took two, and then traded queen and one. Can I play badly here? g5. Yeah, bishop b6, really advantage away. I had to play knight b4 for as many moves. Yeah, definitely, because now rook g3 is this, and then rook b8, I simply win a piece. He has absolutely nothing for it. I mean, sure, he can try that, but I can play c6 or take, and then f5, and I'm winning. Uh, but yeah, queen h4, I waste the tempo. Knight b4, here was a mistake, I had to play a bit safe, but yeah, okay. Win is a win. Thank you so much, Dan Shirt, for, Dan Sh for 95 bits, appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, how are you doing? Thank you so much. So yeah, pretty smooth game, if you can say so. Technically, previous game was smoother because I got 94 accuracy and lost some time. But you know the feeling is different. Uh, here I played 78 and I won. And that feels much better than playing 94 and losing, you know? So I, I'd rather get 90, 70, even 65 accuracy wins and get 11 out of 11 than getting 0 out of 11 play 95 accuracy games. <laughs> As it should be a draw, but it's tricky. And we know that Wonderful Time is a very tricky player. So he may win it. Okay, king g4, now he cannot win. Hey, king g4! King g4 was very poor practical decisions in king g4. And the king is cut off. Look f3. Look f3. Okay. Wonderful time was going for it. Okay, chat, team only! Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not into programming. Okay, chat. White, let's try e4. I'm not happy with last night of 3 game. 
Let's try some spicier mayhaps. I mean, mayhaps is probably not even a word. But I like it. I heard it somewhere and I'm using it since it's like a combination of maybe and perhaps, you know. But it's most likely not a real word. I mean, mayhaps is. <laughs> but I doubt so. Okay, I'm not playing exchange Karokan at all, pretty much. Okay, wait a second. If I remember correctly, I have to trade this bishop. He has to trade this bishop. So if I trade this bishop for the knight, I traded my bad bishop for his knight. And he didn't trade his bad bishop yet. But I got a terrible position, so... <laughs> Maybe trading this bishop wasn't a good idea. Oh god, he has queen g5. Ah... Uh, oh dear, did I lose something? I should play knight b3, I think. Oh dear, that looks scary. Hype train arrived. How much did you get? Hype chest! <gasps> Hype chest! What that? Eh! Mid mode. Not good, not bad. Okay. We got 4 gifts, subs, and 95 bits. Appreciate it. Level 2, 28% of level 2. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I really don't know how to play the Karakhan exchange the best way. I just know that he wants to trade the light square bishop, and I want to trade the dark square bishop, because he's a heavy bishop. And um, I, I may, may or may not, uh, may, may or may not concentrate on doing that for half of the game, preventing him trading light square and trying to trade dark square, then end up losing that game, so eh, we'll see. Okay, he, on the other hand, doesn't want to trade his bad bishop. So, 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 I might play rookie, eh, ah, no, rookie, meh, need g3, perhaps. Now it's gonna g3, uh, rookie 1, I would love for him to take, because this knight is just annoying at this point. Okay, I'll play knight d4, knight on d4 is a good blockade of his isolated opponent, if he plays knight d3, I might maybe even trade the rooks first and then play queen d3, uh, I don't know, queen c2, perhaps, uh, yeah, yes. Maybe a4 is another interesting move. Yeah. Okay, rook e2 and rook a1. Boom. Yeah, unfortunately, his uh, light square bishop is doing pretty well. Protecting both of his isolate, oh, both of his weakness weaknesses, aka the weak pawns. Should I play queen one actually? Maybe. Step protect this and that at some point. But it's it's not a great bishop. Uh, it's not really a great bishop because it's not doing much. But at the same time, it's a good bishop because he's, he's protecting both pawns, you know, which can be a, an object for an attack, you know. But at the same time, it's not doing anything. It's just like a big pawn protecting other pawns. Uh, yeah, knight is 3 for sure. Yeah, what do I do now? Uh, 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 uh. I mean, I might try knight f3. See what he does. Yeah, that's what he does. I thought so. I can play knight 2 since queen e4 is there. So, what do I play? I mean, I can play queen d4 and it takes something like f takes e. Yeah, I don't know that if that's good. I can play knight f1. Or I can play knight c4 and try that. <gasps> oh, maybe actually that makes sense. Uh, and he cannot take, I hope. My idea is to make my knight. To place my knight better than it is on e3 currently. Yeah, I was thinking knight d4. Most likely is forced to go here, and it's like 93, 92. Or oh, 92. Where would I think we might be better? Because in 92, I, I kind of offer him to take with his bad, good bishop, but if he doesn't take, I don't know where to put my knight. But if I go to a3 and c2, for example, maybe something? I don't know. It's still not doing anything, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, the same trying. This, if queen of g3. G3. Mm. 
and then h4 because he wants to play h4 now yeah of course h4 is needed and now if I get my knight to e3 he doesn't have bishop f4 anymore so maybe oh I wanted a pawn though I played it way too quickly oh, that's a bit blunder uh, okay I don't want to blend it like that. Does that work? Or am I blundering something even more than that? <laughs> I hope I'm not blundering anything more. I think I'm not. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I was the one trying to squeeze out the advantage and then bam it blunder upon and now he's suddenly the one with the initiative and yeah, these blunders sound good okay so queen h5 bishop c8 queen g5 queen g5 that's not good queen g4 uh, i can have fate and i think he is escaping so this Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's surely not good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> but then this one move blunder was terrible. Line and Queen Street, oh my gosh, I just blundered everything. Yeah, I should have played king g2 or something or queen d3 and then play knight e3. Well, I played knight e3 and then I blundered the opponent and lost the game. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the opening was fine, but then this knight e3 just one more blunder. I mean, I probably should have actually taken f takes g and then king g2 and then play that. It probably would actually give more chances since his bishop is better than c8. I do the journal. Uh, because yeah, after knight of 5 I sort of have something, but queen of 6, queen of 3d for nice move, and then there's nothing. Yeah, okay, actually I was slightly worse all this time. I thought it was slightly better for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, of course, here play something like, or king g2 or king h2, maybe king h2, for example. Ah, uh, that loses a pawn. So, for example, let's say queen d3, he does something like queen e8, I go b3. It goes somewhere, I go 93. It's difficult to win, but I'm not losing at least. 93 is this. Yeah, it was Stockfish says it was fine. I chose the wrong knight. So this is F takes G, he has bad pawn structure. He has to give away a pawn. So I go knight of 5, I take queen h5, and I'm fine. And if he goes bishop of 2, here I take, take, and I take h5, and I'm fine. But in the game, this I cannot take G, take F takes G since this hangs. And I had to take knight f5 and then the end game was lost. But I even think here, after bishop g3, simply f takes g and I would be more or less fine. I mean, sure it's bad because he gets his bishop into play. But more chances in the game. Because in the game, this is this, I sort of have some counter play, but then d4. Uh, yeah, if not d4, I'm fine, but d4 and I lost. Okay. I bet you last take, long time, I'll see. Hmm. Yeah, wrong night, unfortunately. Okay, this game should end the draw, and I'll put on emote only. Okay, chat, I gotta lock in. I need to lock in. St
just one out of three is not a good start. Let's go. Oh, and Lazar White. Okay, this is time to redeem myself. I, I, last game I got decent out of the opening, you know, I had no idea how to play it. But since one move blunder. I mean, actually, it wasn't one move blunder. I blundered the pawn, but it was still fine after this pawn blunder. But then uh, I chose the wrong knight to play knight f5. <laughs> I found the right idea, but I made the wrong execution of it. I'm usually playing these exact positions as black. <laughs> That's funny to play the same stuff as black but with white. Terrible games, but terrible results. First game unlucky with the clock. There, I just made a terrible blunder. Yeah. You see, I, I played more or less a decent game uh, compared to my win when I got 78 accuracy. Here I got 80 accuracy. But accuracy doesn't matter when you lose. <laughs> so as I say, I'd rather win that game with 50 accuracy, but get the win, than instead of playing a decent game, but then blundering, having a decent accuracy, but losing the game. Also, in somewhat low on time in these games where I lose. I mean, one game I literally lost on time. So maybe if I try to play, I mean, I try to play quicker every tournament, but somehow when I try to play quicker, I think I play even slower. <laughs> so I need to play. I, I don't need to try. I need to play quicker without trying. But as I say, it's just as I say it, I'm starting to think. <laughs> loses does it no it doesn't okay 35 seconds is not much it's just one fix of the time of the game which can last up to 80 moves i thought for one one singular move i mean it's not much is it <laughs> no it's not at all Probably should play DTXC to prevent a passed pawn. Knight of six, I win a pawn. If C, I'm gonna take D5 and get the C passer. Because rook e d1 bishop of 5 could be with a tempo, and I don't want that. Mm, yeah, I was thinking I can either move my knight like this, which I probably actually will do. I could play rook d4 as well, but I like that a bit more. Ah, oh, that's a free exchange. Let me get rook a1 as well. Should I actually play rook a1? Oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. Maybe d4 rook here, I'll block the pawn on d2. Ah, but bishop c4, uh, hold on. Yeah, I think this rook d8, this, this, eh. I should probably play c6, actually. 
and then c7 and then rook 8 and if he doesn't if she takes the pawn i take her pawn and if she doesn't i go rook 8 uh i can't, yeah i think i should simply take should i or maybe rook a7 rook a7 bishop c4 Nah, let's, let's take another thing from Blon. Mm, rook d4, I think, so there's, there is no rook c4. Uh, okay, I gotta, gotta make some space for my king so that there will be no back rank. Uh, rook a5. I get that pawn. Check. Gotta be careful with that. <laughs> I cannot win f7. Hmm, hold on. I'm actually just simply losing a pawn or what? Hmm. Okay, I'm not losing. I mean, I lost the pawn, but I'm getting the D b5 pawn. And likely it will be rook and bishop, rook and three pawns versus bishop and three pawns. Same game. Uh, I probably will play king g3. So that she has to give a check and I'll play f3 so that the rook is not aiming on g2. And uh, yeah, it's most likely a draw. But I'll try. I mean, it's, it's, it's a draw, probably with perfect play, but very good practical chances for a win. That's what I'm gonna say and try to win this night after saying that. Okay, just two pawn islands now. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, let's go here so that I have rook h4 idea. Now rook b6, I think. Yeah, now I get the pawn. Uh, check. Check. Let's go rook h1. Mm, here. Okay, gotta start pushing the pawns. It's not hurry though. Here. 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 Thinking to start with g4. Making g3. Mm -hmm. And then here. Yeah, then maybe rook d4 or something to go king f4. Yes. Uh, here with a d to take. G6, if king is on G6, and if not, I'm simply gonna take uh, king G4. This king of five. G6, I think works. That's a win. Eh, pretty fun realization technique, I think. Uh, I think pretty okay game. Maybe it could be a bit more precise because if she wouldn't play king f6 after I played rook g8, when I got that pawn on b5, it would be more trickier. But yeah, she, I think I played this game more or less fine, like 93 maybe. 88. Okay, I was actually completely winning here. 
Yeah, I should have played. I thought about f4, but I wasn't sure what to do after g6. Then I allowed counter play. Hold on, let me open break timer. Because I might. The, my, my game might have been the last game of the round. So I'm already wasting the break time. Analyzing. No, it still hasn't started. Uh, what is the final? How many games left? G1. This will last for a while. So yeah, then I was completely winning, and I somehow managed to throw it. She got the pawn, but then she blundered. Yes, as I said, this was equal with perfect play, but she didn't play perfectly, and then I managed to squeeze it out. I won that pawn, and then slowly I won. But how? Yeah, okay. If f4, g6, what do I do next? I just I saw that, but what's next? I was wondering. King of two. Yeah, probably she cannot play rook a because I get rook a1 with tempo. And uh, my idea is to get my king to d4 and then play rook a1. And if rook d8, I go king c already and I'm winning. Uh, and if rook a8, rook a1. Thank you, and his gift for giving it to after king junior knight too. May have a good game. Hey, it was decent. I mean, I, I don't know if I like it, but I haven't tried it. In, I don't know, I'm not super interested in it. It's, it looks way too complicated for me. It looks way, way too complicated. So yeah, f4, king f2. Because... Uh, literally, she couldn't do anything. I was concerned about rook d8 uh, d4, but she can play rook d8 now because I get rook e5 or something, or rook d4 f5. And she has to play g6, and I get king of 2 king e3, king d4. I might like it, but it just looks very, very, very complicated. <laughs> Oh dear, how much will this game last for? Oh no, with the serve from white. But he still lose the pawn. How? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, they pushed at the wrong, wrong moment. Eh, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy, my bookmarks are too full. <laughs> Why is black playing for a win? So white offered a draw, and black declined it. <laughs> oh, okay. Chat. Break, I still have half of my water left, so I won't refill it. So chat, mm, see you in a few minutes, grab a drink or a snack, and I'll see you in about four to five minutes. Take care, everybody, and see you soon.
Hello guys, I'm back 20 seconds. Oh, that's close. That is close. I'm gonna try to not analyze the games if the like is bad. So, let's see if the stream will like without the game analysis. Interesting, just, just a small test. Because before, like a month ago, I wasn't lagging. But suddenly, mm, past few tournaments, it was lagging. So let's see if it won't, if, if the stream will like at all without uh, analysis. No cause, yeah, unfortunately. Okay. D5. <laughs> this guy's thinking for a while. Of course, first five moves. <laughs> okay, he was considering. He was thinking on what line to play. Oh, this line. Oh dear. Oh dear, why did he decide to play that line? <laughs> You could have reconsidered. <laughs> you could have reconsidered. Oh dear. Am I getting mated in 10 moves? Possibly. Looks very possible. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's 10 moves. I made get mated in 20 though. <laughs> but if I do, and we have plenty of time to talk with this chat, guys. <laughs> I'll have plenty of time to talk with you. But let's hope I won't get mated in 20 moves. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually not sure if this is better with or without a light square bishop for me. Because this looks interesting, like at least more or less eh, double edge, I wouldn't say like fully double edge. Because right now he can play g4, g5, mate me. I don't know what I have to do to mate him. Um, but is this a free pawn? 94 maybe. Mm hmm. I want to ruin his pawn structure. Also take f2 and also take the bishop. Because knight g4 maybe that's what he wanted. Mm, to create some weakness on e3 or something. But now what does he do, huh? If he moves the bishop, I take c3. And play like bishop b4 or queen b6 and something like that. Uh, maybe I'm not winning, but it's still interesting at least. Uh, if he plays bishop before I go rook f4. Let's see what he does and then d4 may be a weakness. Of course e4 hangs and if he moves it and I can attack d d4. I guess we should e3. So I think I have to take the the the, the, the this the pawn, then play queen e5 and see what he does. If king b2 or rook c1, I have bishop e3 attacking that, and then see if he moves c3 falls. If bishop d2, I have two falls. If c4, I'm gonna take take and then play queen to b4. And if queen b3, I get rook c4, and otherwise the bishop falls. So it looks pretty fine. Hi back to you. How are you doing? And time is also pretty good. 40 seconds or even 2 minutes 23 seconds for me. So I'm somewhat happy with the position, both on the clock and uh, uh, board at the moment. But it can change with the move. <laughs> and round 3 I was also happy with both my position and the clock because I was up on the time and at the disposition and bam I blundered a piece uh, upon in one move and I blundered more and I, uh, and I blundered more and I lost at the end. But right now I have two minute time advantage, which is extremely crazy in title QC. But, 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 it's still unclear. My time advantage. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about playing h5. 
because AJ I'm opening up a file for him. Short G6 may be scary, but if I get Knight F6, I think that should be quite okay. Ah, I don't know. Yes, think. You're very welcome to think. Um, well, I think it takes. It looks Aha. Uh -huh. Fair enough. Queen C3. Queen B6, Rook C3. How about that? Shouldn't get made it, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs>, Laughs nervously. Uh, can I think of it? I mean, surely this is fine, right? Okay, that was a good game, I think. Maybe Stockfish will scream at me for playing a terrible game. But I'm happy with how I managed to clock because he lost some time and I steal it almost half of the time left. I'm pretty think I play pretty well in sharp position. I think he was okay. And then he should five. He was good actually. Four great moves. So it means I found four only moves. Only good moves. Oh no, I analyzed! <gasps> no! Okay, chat, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot that I don't... Okay, let's let's try to analyze here. Let's see if it will like here. I forgot that I will not analyze. It's in my muscle memory already. <laughs> chat, sorry if I kill the shame. I'm sorry, I forgot. Also, is it lagging when I'm analyzing like this or no? In, on, or, 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 I mean, probably now you, you will lag for two minutes because I opened the analysis and it analyzed fully, but eh! <laughs> okay, this h6, or oh, good move, good. Okay, Bishop h5 was better. I think this is fine. Uh, c5, rook c8, both good. Boom. Rook c8 only move. cd94, perfect moves! Let's go! Perfect! Perfect! Okay, here's Stock versus I should have taken C1 and G5. H5, it's fine. I give him some chances with B7. Uh, this take, this, here, second line, first line. Uh, okay, it's not here, but okay, it's actually like second. It's actually the first line, uh huh. Yeah, I wanted to play that. Because, for example, I wanted to protect E8, so it's something like this E8 is protected. Uh, this is rook f2, this king of 8 better than king of 7. Yeah, somehow this just feels tiny bit safer. I guess yes, queen h5. I'm getting rid of one extra check. Actually, I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four extra checks, which you cannot do, so king of 8 was safer, and this king to 6 resigned. Yeah, that was a great game. Right now it's okay. Uh, do you mean it's okay right now after the analysis? Or, or, or what happened? Or, or even when I analyzed, it was okay. Hi, Shogunot, how are you doing? Was it actually fine when I analyzed it as well or no? Rook h6, come on. Rook h2, rook h1, rook h2, rook h3, rook h4. I have a feeling White will win this. A strong feeling, though, yes. King g6. Rook h6 had to be played with king f3. And black's fine, but now rook g. Ah! Rook h6! Yes. King f3, king g8, f4, and black's fine. Do, 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 Actually, king e2, rook e7, king f1 loses, so you have to play king d2 or king e1. Yeah. Draw! Draw, 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 okay. Draw, 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 Magnus isn't playing, right? Oh, yeah. Car reason in the top 20 either. 
Very Sicaru. Very Sicaru. Sicaru is in four and a half. I'm not saying that, so we just want to put me on him. Ha, ah, that's strange, okay. If you also came in the analysis, was I don't know what happened. What, what changed magically? Oh, what, what? I thought there was a bazillion games left. Okay, you more only. Adios. Oh, double black. Cause, no! Cause, yo! By the way, I played this guy when he was 2700 once. I think it was 2700, like 2680. Oh, this line. How do you like this line? I don't know. D6. I mean, if he isn't forcing me to take, then I guess I don't need to take. Okay, what does that want to? What does he want to do with that? I think I remember some line where rooks are getting charated. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure though. I think somewhere deep inside I recorded. Mobot! Hey Mobot! Hi! Even though you were here for the whole stream, hi! Dunshot, thank you so much for subbing with Prime. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 I have to play H5. I do I. Haha. <laughs> Maybe I don't. You can play 95 trade the nice bishop d7 alongside castle. Haha. Uh -huh. Master plan. Master plan. I'm afraid you play like D2 Queen H1 and made me before I castle. <laughs> but okay. You know what happens? At least he would have played a very beautiful game. Mm. Ah. Ah. Oh. And I have seen my bishop g4 and trade and stack immediately. Because it's super annoying. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate your streams. <laughs> Well, now if he actually isn't careful enough, I might as well simply castle, play rook h8, and mate him. Oh, should I add one set castle? Or should I take bishop f3 first? Eh, I don't know. Do I? Nah, two bishops. Yeah, let's take. And the good thing is that he cannot castle since I have uh, queen e5. Okay, he wants that. So, so. I thought that he wants to do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna take... Will it be easy to take b6 is a question. I think it should be decent. Isn't easy enough? I mean, it won't be a big problem unless, like, my king is on e8 and then he plays bishop b6, b7. Like, that's the only, that's the only uh, circumstance where this pawn can be actually terrifyingly scary. Uh, right, like, right now it's not doing much. It's just a pawn. It exists. Just gotta keep it in mind <laughs> at some point. It can be scary. Okay, but I got the control of the G H file, so I'm fine with that. Pretty happy. Okay, probably wants to play B4 and opens things up. I'll try this and this, I don't know. B4. I didn't fall for King E3. That was my, actually my, <laughs> my main idea. He didn't want to do anything else uh, other than try to trap him. Okay, now if he goes this, this, I have king b8. I think I should be okay. Should I take the knight? Maybe already. Mayhaps I should take the knight. Hmm? <sighs> b5. Actually, I mean a5. He has to win the pawn like that. It 
it's risky but i have i think i have rook h1 rook a1 it's gonna be difficult to win but i think i oh but bishop b3 rook c7 wait a second i have rook d1 check bishop d4 uh-huh Maybe should d4 so I get this pawn. Okay, rook b1, just so I keep rook b2 in mind. Just in case things go south, I can do something. Mm, oh, e. Yeah. Just if, if things go south, I cannot do anything. Uh, d6, e, d. Okay, I'll take. Long time, surprisingly. I thought I didn't think of this, of this during this game at all. But it turns out I did. Now I'm gonna trade the rooks. I don't risk it. Why didn't I take b5? That was winning. I'm not the smartest sometimes. Yeah, simply rook b5, I would be winning. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not the smartest person sometimes. And sometimes I win most of the times, but I mean, it's still okay, it's playable. But that would be just winning rook b5, rook b6, I have like 10 fast pawns, and he had double pawns. I don't know why I didn't just play rook b5. Just take the free pawn. Okay, still. Let's lock in. And win. I'm actually gonna do this. Because I don't think he, he, he will be able to take g6 quickly enough. And I'm gonna go king 7. d6, e6. system <laughs> I shouldn't have done so because my king cannot sneak through I did I lose the pawn no I lost it oh, I know it's a draw. Mm. I threw this so badly. So unfortunate. I cannot do anything. Oh, what a throw. <laughs> Why did I play rook b5? Like that was so simple. Yeah, but should be five <laughs> I would have been completely winning. <sighs> Somehow the time management was bad. I thought I didn't think like at all for this at this game. During this but even in the end game I think it was better. Like Ruby be two F five. I should have simply taken F four. The B six one wouldn't run away anywhere. It is so terribly. No, but yeah, I already got a better position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, play here perfectly. Here, play rook b5. Plus two. I take b6, I play f5, I completely winning. Here he blundered. Yeah, just take. And then go bishop d2. And bishop d2 actually draws or what? Ah, bishop d2 actually draws to d6. 
since he gets bishop e6, and then he fixes with f3, and it's a draw. Aha! Uh -huh. So instead, I should have sacked this pawn and activate my king, so that d6 doesn't do anything. But here again, I should have played king c8, and then I allowed d6. And king c7, I was winning. Yeah, here, oh, g4. Of course, yeah, g4 this. I don't know why again I analyzed chat. I, I am sorry. Muscle memory, I cannot, I can't help it. I can't help it. So g3 this, I simply take, I have way too far advanced pass pawn. And if fg, fg, bishop b4, same thing. Like time. I, I, sorry chat, I keep forgetting. There was such an interesting game. I really want to analyze it. And yeah, d5, I just gave him the draw. I should have tried. Like king a7. And this king b6, he goes king a4. I oh, like bishop d2, he goes bishop d5, for example, and I can track in here. Ah, uh, yeah, I threw the game so many times. <laughs> ah, sorry for lagging, though. I can't forgot. But yeah, the easiest win probably was rook b5 immediately, rook b6. Uh, and then, yeah, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Just play f5, trade the rooks, king c7. GG. Yeah, but unfortunate. Yeah, sorry, chat. I can't help it. My hands, like, like I don't know. Mm. Like, before you go to sleep, you turn off the lights. The same thing after I finish the game, I need to analyze it. <laughs> I can't help it. I just can't help it. But yeah, I don't know. How was I super long time? Even though I felt like this game, I barely thought at all. Yeah, but I'm really, I'm really disappointed that, uh, that, 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 I mean, okay, bishop e4, king e4, I would play bishop d2, but then it's some crazy draw with d6, and then he's in time with bishop c4, so I go something, he goes bishop, said bishop b 6 and since I have all the pawns to dark squares, even though he, I'm three pawns up, I cannot win this, magically. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, after bishop g6, f4 was a simple, easy win. A g4, I mean. g4, and then then he cannot do anything. Because I have way too far advanced pass pawn. I have the pawn on a5, so his king has to protect that. And I have the pawn on g uh, on g3, so that his bishop has to protect that. Yeah, it was way too interesting. I threw the game ten times. How can that not be interesting? <laughs> How can that not be interesting if I threw the game 55 times within 10 moves? That's a must to analyze. I threw... No, but I played rugby too, I realized, oh god, why didn't I play rugby if I went within two pawns? That's first. I'm playing and I'm like, oh dear, how did I manage to not win? <laughs> that was funny. No, but after I played rugby too, I'm like, wait a second! Wait a second, rook if I just want two pawns and no rook trade needed. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would actually much rather to realize that while analyzing because analyzing because uh because during the game morale fell down. I don't know for why why. But it just like fell down like I missed a win. Then I tried to lock in, but I I was too low on time unfortunately. At least I tempo is queen c2, like that was a stupid move again. Just play queen 2 immediately. I don't have this position, but I could, it would be my turn. But he's wasting some time as well, so whatever. Uh, yeah. And then, but okay, g4 is, in my defense, it's a tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit tricky to find. And I didn't find it. Because you're like thinking what to take and g4. I mean, probably Magnus would find it without even thinking half a second. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not on Magnus's level yet. <laughs> also, how am I? How 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 is half a second, half a minute down? When did I think? I thought for h3 for whatever reason for seven seconds. You know, I thought I didn't think at all. Uh yeah. Okay, chat. I uh, need not to analyze the game because the stream dies. <sighs> but this is my muscle memory, so if I do, I'm sorry. He had bishop d5, I think. <laughs> I need to stop yapping so much. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, because bishop g5, and what the heck do I do? Good question, isn't it? Okay, maybe I should play queen e2. Just to not be so scared of blundering bishop g5. How many moves did I waste with my queen again? Ten? Okay, stop yapping. <laughs> I mean, I, I am a streamer, so I have to talk, you know. But sometimes I just can't stop myself. To yap a bit. I'm making such ugly moves, like it's actually concerning what moves I'm making. <laughs> Queen e3, then the next move go back to e2, and then I go bishop e2, then I go bishop e1. That's very, very concerning. <laughs> And I'm still, I'm one and a half minutes down already. Like, I'm literally making random moves. Do not think I'm getting in a bad position, and then I check the clock, I'm one and a half minutes down already from the time we started. I don't know how that's happening. What's the key to, uh, to not think at all? Yeah, I get a bad position. And he's, he has two minutes. And I'm down less to less than a minute. And two forty six. <laughs> okay, I gotta do something. I'm sure what I'll do is good because it doesn't look like it. Hold on, actually, it might be good. Chill, chat. Trust the process. I don't know. I mean, maybe don't trust it because sometimes I'm, I'm saying trust the process and uh, I'm doing not so good things, but trust the process. I have to play B7 in a long time. Should I go for a draw or no? I don't know, like, uh, I mean, I have a passer, I'm 10 seconds somehow. Okay, it's equal. I'm slightly bored. No, but I was like, think I lose? And I actually was losing. So fortunately he missed because bishop d5. I don't know why I played queen. He's still like once a reason. Ah, yeah, but okay. Uh, yeah, but queen e2 or queen f3. Uh, yeah, then I was worse. Like much worse. Then I gambled here to play b5, I think. Or bc rook d5. Yeah, 95 was slightly better. Nah, it's 
we'll see. And then he cannot move the rook because of knight c6, he cannot move the knight because something else he can move the king because of rook c8. So he just went for a draw. Mm. I was hoping that he'd be cocky and play for a win and play knight c6 and then play rook one in some rook one. But unfortunately that didn't, didn't happen. <sighs> Is it 7th or 8th round? It's 7th, okay. Yeah, 4 out of 7 isn't good, you know? It's not the best it's the results I have, but still 4 rounds to go. And my hands are itching to analyze. You don't know how much they're itching, chat. To can somebody. Okay, 89. 89 for me, 88 for him. Pretty fine, I guess. But this game was better than previous game. Because even though previous game I had 87 as well. It is a good six. I still 25 wins out of the window, through the window. And this game, like, I, I, I didn't throw anything, I think. Unless there was some move I missed, uh, which even during analyzing, which I think I didn't. Oh well. Yeah, but I don't know how. Where did I waste so much time? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Then here I'm looking, I'm already half a minute down. But still, okay, half a minute for 20 moves is fine. Yeah, here I blew so much time away. Because the uh, position looked terrible. And yeah, it was a gamble with B4, which I saw for a while, bit off, fortunately. What is this emoji? Is this a turtle or what? Or is it some hyped train emoji? Frog ponder. Is it a hyped train emoji, chat? Limited. I don't know. Did the stream lag, by the way, without no analysis? Chad, did the stream lag with no analysis or no? Because if it does lag, then what's the point of not analyzing the game and seeing how terribly or well I played? Uh, <laughs> but if it does, didn't lag, then then, 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 then good. Let me know if the stream lagged or no, please. Hi train, okay. But why doesn't why does it say frog ponder, not something high ponder? Is there oops? Oops, oops, oops. No, it was fine. Let's go. Type ponder. There is no high ponder, why why would they do frog ponder? Well, there's literally high ponder. Like, there's no high ponder. Oh, blue bomb is flagged. Oh my lord. It's a dead draw, but he flagged. Oof. He may have disconnected. Because he had 10 seconds and then he suddenly flagged. No lag. But you have a small delay. Yeah, somehow I think you have like a minute delay. Because uh, when I went out uh, at the break, I was coming back when there was like 1 minute 50 seconds left and I came back to the room and there was like 20 seconds left of break So you have some minute delay <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how and why Do you have a minute? Minute long delays it seems Oh, new round already, okay, okay Quite big delay on my end, actually. Ah, that's unfortunate. But at least not on my end. Fortunately, we figured out the reason. Okay, black pieces! Cozy! Oh! Cozy! Oh! Cozy! Yo! Cozy! Yo! Cozy! Oh! Hey! Cozy! Oh! Hey! Ah, no cozy. E6 takes. I have two bishops. He has better development. Actually, okay, I castled. I mean, sure, he has better point structure, sure. But it's not that bad, surely, right? 
It can't be that bad, famous last words. <laughs> Maybe he blunder. Should we do? Yeah, why not? Because this bishop is being, uh, is being limited by his pawns quite a lot. I think it's good to trade it. I don't know. I think it's good. But it may not be good. Give me that pawn. Give me, give me, give me. Man, I, I wouldn't mind the trade. The terrible CC spawn for a good h pawn. But of course, it's like that you won't play it and he'll play like a3. But then I'll play like something like rook ad8. And put pressure on the d pawn of his. Oh, he takes! Whoa, whoa, what? Hey! My terrible pawn got traded for a great pawn! Hey, hey, hey! Let's go! Party time! I mean, okay, it's still not party time, but I mean, come on! I hated this one so much! Sorry, pawn, nothing personal. You, just, you were just too terribly placed by me. <laughs> So, indirectly, I'm hating myself for playing that. Uh, but no, but the pawn was absolutely... It's theory, you know. I can explain myself. It's theoretically. Theoretical. Theory. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm really hyped that I traded this pawn for an A2 pawn. And now he has weak this D pawn and at the same time weak B pawn. Somewhat. I mean, B pawn isn't weak at all. What am I talking about? May, it may be weak, you know. Okay, I'll play queen e5, I don't want to trade queens. It looks like he's just trying to play for a draw. Trading queens, trading pawns, which I did, uh, I wanted to trade, so I don't mind that, even if he's playing for a draw. I really enjoy that pawn trade. Position feels so much more comfortable without that pawn. Bishop c3 is a good offer. A good way to offer the queen trade. <laughs> I'm gonna place this so that I have rook a8 in mind. Because now rook a8, rook c8, and I have to give away my bishop, which I don't want to do. Okay, chat, now, next quest is how to win it. Okay, maybe, eh, b5. Mm -hmm. Tricky, tricky. In a6, I create another weakness. I was so happy getting rid of the weakness on c6, and I'll create my volunteer to create another one, which, eh, yeah. yeah, that's great. I mean, how will he exploit it? Double up and attack, I guess. I want to play queen d5, rook d5, and an e5. A e4, skewer, and these things. But you played okay, do you want to know how to do that end game? It's a question. Big, big question. In this pawn, so I don't have queen d1 isn't made. Oh, really? Oh, he had b5. Oh dear, Chad! <laughs> Wait a second. 
be careful actually. <laughs> I should have freed the bishops. They should have played bishop d4. Then I will happen at all. Just bishop d4, queen d8, trade draw. But I miscalculated like queen d1, queen f1. And that he has b5. Is it, I don't know if I should trade or not. Be fun chat. Wait, for whom? Unfortunate, unfortunate. Mm. Yeah. Okay, chat, I need to end. Okay, break time started. I'll grab water. Uh, yeah, I will probably. Sorry, chat, if the stream will like, <laughs> analyze the game. That's when I come back, I can analyze it. So, see you in a few minutes. Sorry for the lag, and see you. Oh, wait, emotron, you off. Hold on. Emotron, let's go. Uh, 
So chat, grab a drink or a snack and I will see you in a few minutes. Take care and see you soon. Hello everybody, I am here. Let's quickly check what happens at game. It was completely equal. Yeah, bishop d4. I should have simply taken. Like we need. 
And then we get to the draw. I decided to play for a win and ended up losing the opponent instead. I'll quickly check this review. Then he was better here, I had draw for a move. King h7. But yeah, that's so difficult to see the difference. I went to play king h7, so that there is no queen g3 checks. Queen h3 checks. Then he was winning. It was more or less equal. I got some sort of perpetual. I should have actually traded. Oh, and I'm in time with g5. Yeah, but this this is complicated in time travel to see where you have to trade and where you don't have to trade. Like a five, and I'm just standing. And if he decides to go around, I have king h4. I'm fine. Ah, okay, whatever. Still three rounds left. With three wins, pretty good result. Seven. So let's lock in and let's go chat. No, not announce. Emo told me. Let's go. Try to talk a little less because I don't know why, but somehow time flies. And I'm again talking. Maybe I'm, time flies for me because when I'm talking, you know, time flies quicker. And then I'm like, oh, where's my time? And I don't have time. And I get flagged. I get long time. I panic. I blunder. I lose. <laughs> and maybe if I don't talk during the games, I'll be good on time. Let's see. Versus that he doesn't have bishop g5. It's an old move, but if I get rook c1, bishop f3, bishop f3, because there is no bishop g5. That's the idea. And dc I take, and bishop f3, bishop f3 I take, so. And dc8 ends. Rook fd1 second, so that he doesn't have bishop c2. That's why I played rook c1 first. Mm, yeah, because rook fd1, bishop c2, and then b3 falls. And I don't want that. Uh, D2. It's better so decide knight d2 so that b3 is protected and maybe I can play b4 in, in the future. Before he can take GC. No, he couldn't, he has to take knight c4. <laughs> but okay, queen is a fine move. Let's continue it as well. Maybe I shouldn't pre-move, maybe I should I can take BC. Huh. Okay, this, this is this, queen d5, e2 hangs. That's his idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A 
I start to complicate things. He's down to his last 30 seconds. And if I complicate things, maybe maybe he'll sink and blunder in time travel. I think this is fine. I don't think Rook C8 is a good inclusion, I think. It's fine to keep the attention on the C file. Uh, boom, boom. Yes, sir. And you will see from this maintains some tension. And I also want 95, 96. Rook D8, 95, 95, 95, 45. Okay, 95, 96. Should I take a seven? Maybe I can play g4. No, mm. Mm. doesn't really have any threats, so I might simply try to somehow patiently improve my position. Okay, maybe that's not really patient. But uh, king g3, I was thinking king g3, d6. I don't see how he plays, and d6, d7. And d7 to d4 is sinking. <clears throat> okay, chat. Good time management, good play. That's maybe the key to go. Maybe I was yapping too much. <clears throat> yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Finally a well played game! <laughs> it just took me 9 rounds. <laughs> I, I won't analyze, but maybe if someone will analyze, and I can see the accuracy, I just wanna see how how, 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 how PERFECTLY played <laughs> this game! Uh, how, how majestically I destroyed him! <laughs> <laughs> How I didn't even give him a single chance. I didn't let him to do anything. <laughs> Can somebody please analyze the game? I want. I want to. I want to see how how much how well I crushed him. <laughs> ah, no hate. I'm just happy. Nothing personal. I'm just happy with playing a good game after ten years. I mean, I played good games, but I didn't win. Like this game, yeah, against it, I, I had risk on David, or what was it? Or oh, Peter. Uh, this was the last good game I played in a while. And then I played like 40 real games. Uh, yeah. I mean, they weren't terrible. Here it was 88 accuracy, but I threw like three easy wins. Here it was a fine game, but terrible time management. Here I lost. So, even if there is good accuracy in the game, but I lose it, it's a terrible game, you know. <laughs> yeah. Somebody analyze the game, I wanna see my accuracy. Hi, John, how are you doing? Long time no see. Do, 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 still around, two rounds left. Ooh, what is your window? Like over pushed. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. So, like, we're like completely winning. It was like Bishop of Six. Wow, did you? And no, no cause here today! Okay, queen e5 wins, no? Yeah. No cause here today yet. But still two rounds! Two rounds done. Thank you, Crush Dummy. Let's see. 99! 96! Not bad, not bad. 96 is pretty good. And good time management. So it was like the perfect game of the tournament. So far. Because the closest one I had was 94 by lost. So that already... Uh, loss is like minus minus 90 accuracy. <laughs> Even like minus 60 accuracy. <laughs> <coughs> and then there was 92.6. Now usually you're busy on Tuesday. See, I don't remember you for a while. I don't remember you being on streams for a while. Nice to have you. Do 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 do. Ninety five to seven. I mean, chat. Maybe that's the that's the strat. 
just to not talk during the games and play quickly to put my opponents under time pressure and when they're in the time pressure BAM! and they lose dun 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 So like, I'm not having terrible games, right? This draw was a smooth draw. Okay, these two. Here I just got unlucky this time. These two, where I lost, were terrible. But those games are decent, but they're just like, they're not good enough. Except the, this game in round 9, that was majestic win. Okay, round 10! Let's go! Black, Cozio! Cozio! It's probably the final challenge for Cozio, so let's go! Cozio! 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 Come on! Mm-hmm, 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 we may be onto something. Mm hmm. Ah, boring line. Of course, you're about to boring line. Boring guy, boring line. <laughs> That's it, personal. Just a joke. Maybe BC was slightly better. No, but I just know this. Oh, he doesn't go for an endgame. Sheesh. Okay, then so if Rugi wanna go, who need? Why am I yapping? That's the question. But technically, technically. I have the pass, right? Since I'm the streamer, I need to keep the content entertaining. So I can talk, but not so much that I can focus. Technically, for a streamer, talking isn't really happening, right? Because I need to do it. <laughs> because mute streams are quite boring, and aren't they? Yes, what now? <laughs> what now? I don't know what why, why I'm doing this, <laughs> honestly. I just don't know what else to play. So technically I'm doing it out of boredom. <laughs> no, but low-key if I play if he plays 94 I am in time. To free up my queen to at least that it's be it's able to go to h5 him more or less fine i mean sure he may be able to mate me before that but like if if i don't lose my queen it should be a playable position <laughs> Because if rookie three have that, he has rookie four. Oh, 
Yeah, but we see your fight looks way too scary. 94 bishop h5. Bishop h3, I mean. E6, F6, or do I take? That's the question. Hmm. Okay, no, no, here I take. <coughs> uh huh. Maybe bring the rook to play. So it, didn't, it isn't doing much. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, it goes from here, fair. Protecting the knight. Well, my pieces are a little bit clumped. Clumped. <coughs> mm. Why did it do that? No, it's just 95. Oh dear, hold on. <laughs> yeah, because 95 is concerning. Terrifying. I don't know about that. It's a dubious decision, especially in time trouble without calculating. Let's go! It's a ready game, but a win is a win! Yes! Let's go! Okay, that was probably like 80, less than 80 accuracy, but I don't mind. Somebody analyze the game, please. That was very scary. We can time travel, especially. Like, no, but yeah. What out of the opening? DC is the best. He actually got slightly better. I had to play if I b5. No, but yeah, I was I saw this and it was like, did I just weaken my pawn structure? But Sokrish says, ah, I get uh, yeah 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 yeah. I get a4. I get bishop a6 with b4 threats. So he was like, really want to go here and b4 and I'm more or less fine and I'm more or less active pieces and he doesn't have anything. And if the queen's a trade, for example, I don't know, let's say something like that. I am fine because I get like rook f b8 b4 and I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. It was a little scary. Yeah, bishop d6 was a bad move already. My game starts here, right? You see, I have a feeling some of mine too. <laughs> this a knight h4. Eh? And this is queen d2. I get rook a d8 and queen c1 rook f8. I sucked a piece, but I'm better here. I mean, that's crazy to find blitz. 
unless you gamble. Mm. Yeah, I mean, more or less fine. Okay, it's good that I didn't play bishop h3. I was super concerned about that. And yeah, queen f5, and then he missed it. He, fortunately for me, he didn't see bishop h3 at all. I want that exchange. Still, he has great compensation. He's actually better. Yeah, map an exchange, but I cannot do anything. <laughs> because my h, this h pawn push was a mistake now. Because queen h5, 95 for all this red. 79 to 2. Yeah, that was a bad game. Yeah, I gambled. I decided to gamble with 95 because, I mean, in time trouble, getting smothered is terrible. So I decided to gamble. Rook e6. Uh, yeah, I had to play queen b2. But I don't know why I was concerned. I played rook g6, queen h4, rook d5. I thought, like, oh dear, I'm terribly placed. Only b winning move for him was b4. He not let me take b2. But then he played knight f2. And unfortunately for him, I took the knight. In the beginning, where? He didn't want a queen trade to sink. I'm, I'm more or less happy with this endgame. Uh, it's a bit annoying with his pawn structure, but it's more or less fine. He wants to play for a win. Uh, and then, yeah, I took f2, and I won. But a win is a win, you know? <laughs> Don't care about the accuracy, care about results. And I got good results, so I don't mind. So, last round, let's look in. Yeah, but it was in an annoying position, you know? The, like, when you're equal on p material, right, and he's putting pressure, you're like, okay, well, I'm slightly worse. But he was a bit surreal. I'm up an exchange, but I cannot do anything. My pieces are smothered, and yeah, Stokovic says he was, like, plus one all the game. So, like, I can't do literally anything, but I'm an exchanger. And you're thinking, wait, am I, am I stupid enough? It should be better. Don't, I mean, I'm up an exchange, it should be better, surely, right? But no, he was an exception. Uh, he was an exception. But I'm up an exchange, but he's actually better. And that was round ten for Vampire Rage. Hello, yeah, you missed so much. You missed ten, eleven of the stream. But you're here for the last round. Not like I'm fighting for prizes today. It's not the best tournament. I'm on six out of ten, and yeah, I was on four out of eight. It's like not the best. But last last round. So if I lock in and win, seven out of eleven. 7-11 is pretty good. So let's go! Cozio, another one. No, I'm playing with the white pieces. Let's go. <clears throat> Crash dummy, 2,000 bits, thank you so much! Let's go! Now I gotta win! I will not talk though. I will try to lock in! Thank you so, so much, Crash dummy, I appreciate it. Thank you. And sub to Xjan. Thank you, Anonymous. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. the best position you wish for is right, but okay. Dear, dear. And I actually don't mind that because I was a bit more concerned at the B pawn. Being a pastor, a pastor for him. Queen D2. I mean, he'll probably get that. Then I can try like Ruby 1, try to stop it at least. Try to prevent it for as much as I can. Oh, 
Hey, cut him off, honey bee. Thank you. Concentration maximum. Let's go, chat. I gotta win. Lock in. Tricky guy, rugby 594. <laughs> Could triple fork <laughs> and a rook c3. Tricky, tricky, tricky. But no, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna politely decline the offer of taking the free pawn because it's not really, it's not really free. <laughs> that I look at it. <laughs> okay, king g2. Pretty fine position. My queen, my queen isn't the best located piece, but it's located fine. And 94, I'm gonna take, take, and it won't have the passer anymore. So. Let's try this. She said it was 94 somewhat. Or queen b7, 94. <clears throat> queen b7, I think, rook b3. He doesn't fall for my trap, but okay, it's fine, it's fine. That would be three. Blocking the pawn. Ninety four would be four. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do we do now? <coughs> I gotta move. I'm not sure if I should take a play h5 and fix it.
five. Oh, second time I lose on time, but no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Second time in the tournament I lose in drawing position, but why? I made the move in time. Yeah, okay. Nothing I can do. That's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, I was better. I was actually winning. Should have just played Kinji 4. Yes, I should have. Mm. I was considering it, but I was a bit unsure. I saw that I was calculating this line, G4, but G4 F6 a draw. So I have to come back. No, but I was I wasn't sure if this. But yes, of course this is winning. Um. Yeah, maybe we can, but I'm I'm not so sure on how to moderate it. So. I was thinking about it. I, it. It's like work in progress idea, but how second time I lose with that today? Mm, I made the move. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. I'm like two hundreds now. One sixty. I mean, not bad, chat. Two times today. Yeah, that's like a point wasted. A thing. A whole point wasted. Sad. Yeah, okay, I should have played King G4, I was considering it, I don't know why I didn't go for it. <laughs> this time every day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, unlucky, unlucky. Yeah. But I mean, I played more or less well. Now that you lose, but you don't think you deserve to lose, accuracy actually matters. <laughs> You're like, okay, I play 93, it's not that terrible, you know. Like, yeah, I'm sorry for analysis chat. I just wanted to see if I was winning. I was winning for a move. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, seven points I would be like 80 as usual. But uh, six points I'm like somewhere, somewhere far away. Somewhere far away. Where am I? Where am I? I'm not even 160 or so what? Where am I? <laughs> I'm 180 as? Oh, that hurts. But with seven points uh, in my tiebreaker, I would be like a hundred. Uh, flag position is 48 minutes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, nothing can be done. I think I made a move with enough time, but I unfortunately didn't. Reflexes or what else is like. Yeah, two times in the tournament, same thing. Like. It happens, it happens. Uh, so, yeah, first game, this happened. I, I mean, I was making the losing move, but he, he had two seconds to find that, so I'm still thinking of a sequel. Then I won, then I lost terribly. I blundered in one move. Then I won, then I won, then I drew winning position, then I drew, then I lost, and I won two games, and I was winning third game, but then I flagged uh, by making a move and it not reaching the serving time. Unfortunate, six points, but if these two were, I, were this wouldn't happen. I would have drawn, it would be 7 points, and 7 points is like fine, and if I wouldn't lose this and would have won that, it would be 7.5, and, and if I wouldn't lose this and would have won that, it would have been 8.5, and, and if I wouldn't lose this and would have won that, it would be 9.5, and, and if, if you see like that, I was close to get 9.5, you know? <laughs> Anyways, chat, thank you so much for watching, a little bit unfortunate that I only got 6 points, but yeah, this position... Uh, two games where I made a move by didn't reach the server was quite, quite unfortunate. I was say too old, too slow, indeed. Indeed. We deep dive into the tournament motion. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like already, uh, uh, I'm like 20 meters away from the beach already. Alright, yeah, after the stream, I'll check it. More or less good tournament. Unlucky with this, uh, laxing. This, yeah, I don't know why I didn't play Rusi 4. I'm just creating troubles for myself. But yeah, this uh, position was winning. It's really tricky to win it. Thank you for the follow, appreciate. Bad Tuesday this week. Indeed, Vampire Rage, bad Tuesday. I play uh, Title Tuesday always. Untitled Tuesday, okay. <laughs> no, but I played, let's, let's be fair, right? Let's be real. Uh, let's be real. This end game was more. Oh, the end game. I played the opening perfectly, more or less. It's queen trade, rook b3, then rook b4, rook c7. I was annoying. I was super annoying. I won a pawn. I got the end game. I was about to play king g4. I saw for a while. I came back. I, I was about to play king g4, but I didn't, unfortunately. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, 
and uh, and then yeah, then it was equal. I decide to be cocky and play for a win instead of going for a draw and end up losing. So much happens, whatever. I mean, I didn't really end up losing, I got flagged. Whatever, chat. Whatever, whatever. Nice team, more or less. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching and for the support. Hope you had fun. Animus Gifted gave you two tier one subs uh, to the community seven uh, a week ago. Thank you, Animus. And Karaj Dami, 15 months at tier one. That's a year and three months. Thank you. Then Lorgan, 29 months at tier one. That's two years and five months. Thank you. Then Bimi Absnoti, tier one for 67 months. Appreciate it. Then Dan, 95 bits. Then, 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 Anonymous Gifted give the tier one sub to King Junior 92. Then Dan Short, uh, subscribe to his Prime. Thank you. Then Crush W Rich, 2000 bits. Anonymous Gifted give the tier one sub to Xjan. And Karma, 400 bits. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you for the support and for watching. I hope you had fun. You know, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you get unlucky, sometimes. Maybe next tournament I'll get lucky and I'll win 11 times because my opponent's like, you never know what will happen. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care. Bye, Lorgan. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Crash Dummy. Bye, Gijan. Bye, Totally Journal. Bye, Karma. Bye, Andrew. Bye, Pirate. Bye, Dan. Bye, Tubletchik. Bye, bye. Bixby. Bye, bye. Sugar Bye, bye. Everybody.